நம்பர் ஒன் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஓஎஸ் எலிமெண்ட்ரி இஸ் எ யூனிக் இன் த லினிக்ஸ் வேர்ல்ட் அ ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் லினிக்ஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ப்ரொவைட்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேஸ் ஆஃப் ஆஃபரிங் அண்ட் ப்ரெசென்டிங் வாட் இஸ் லார்ட்லி த சேம் செட் ஆஃப் ஓப்பன் சோர்ஸ் சாஃப்ட்வேர் திஸ் இஸ் வை த எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் யூசிங் தி லைக்ஸ் ஆஃப் உபுண்டூ ஃபெடோரா ஓப்பன் சூஸ் ஆர் டெபியன் கேன் ஃபீல் லார்ஜ்லி தி சேம் ஆன் ஈச் யூ சூஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி மெனி டெஸ்டாப் இன்டர்ஃபேசஸ் அண்ட் மஸ்ட் வீ த்ரூ தி ஆப் ஷோர்ஸ் ஆர் பேக்கேஜ் மேனேஜர்ஸ் ஃபார் தி ஆப் டிசைன்ட் வித் யுவர் சூஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர்ஃபேஸ் இன் மைண்ட் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஓஎஸ் கம்ஸ் வித் இட்ஸ் ஓன் டெஸ்டாப் என்ரோமெண்ட் பை தி நேம் ஆஃப் பேந்தியன் இட் கம்ஸ் வித் இட்ஸ் ஓன் ஆப் ஸ்டோர் நோன் ஆஸ் ஆப் சென்டர் விச் கம்ஸ் வித் ஆப்ஸ் டிசைன்ட் எஸ்பெஷலி ஃபார் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஓஎஸ் வைல் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஓஎஸ் யூசஸ் உபூன்டூ as its foundation this is invisible to all but more technical users nearly every aspect of the visual experience has been designed to form a cohesive and consistent experience while desktop linux as a whole has made big strides in this area elementary os has come the farthest and provides the best example today of what a desktop designed for everyday people using exclusively free software could be Number 2 Fedora Silver Blue What makes up Linux distribution a distribution has a lot to do with how software is packaged and distributed For this reason Fedora Silver Blue represents a rethink of what a Linux distro can be The usual approach involves putting a system together using various programs individually packaged and distributed with the updates changing these packages one at a time By contrast Silver Blue provides core system components as a single image that's identical from one system to the next. When you download updates, you download a new system image rather than updates to a handful of packages. This increases like likelihood that your system remains stable. Everyone having access to the same image means that the developer are using the exact same software that's on your machine and they will likely be able to replicate any bugs you encounter assuming they have similar hardware if you do have any issues with an update you don't have to try to revert hundreds of packages back to how they were you can simply switch from the latest system image back to the previous one that worked silver blue also goes all in on the universal flat pack format this means most of your software comes with a degree of isolation from the rest of your system improving your security with the flat seal app installed you can fine tune just what components and data each app can access number 3 garuda linux arch linux is a popular distro but with its involved installation process it's not ideal for newcomers or regular distro hoppers not a problem there are many arch linux derivatives that makes arch easier to install garuda linux is one of them so why pick garuda linux in short Garuda offers the speed and flexibility of Arch without you needing extensive knowledge of the command line. It gives you a granular control over your systems in a way that's more welcoming to the newcomers. Has a rolling release distro where updates arrive continuously. There is the risk of vital system components breaking, leaving your computer in a state where you can't boot. Like Silver Blue, Garuda Linux provides protection against this. Garuda uses the BTRFS file system by default which provides a built-in snapshot mechanism for rolling back to the older version of your system known to work On most distro this feature requires using the command line but Garuda provides a desktop app that makes it more accessible Garuda is also a good version of Arch for gamers it comes with a colorful theme that while perhaps not to everyone taste is plain fun Number 4 Zorin OS Some people feel that various Linux distro too closely resemble Windows or Mac OS. The KDE Plasma desktop's default layout, for example, is reminiscent of Windows. And if you're quickly glancing over someone's shoulder at a cafe, their elementary OS desktop could easily leave you wondering how they installed Mac OS on a laptop that isn't a MacBook. But these resemblances fall apart once you start actually interacting with your computer. Most Linux designers are not trying to copy Windows or Mac OS despite any similarities. That's not the case with Zorin OS. Zorin explicitly tries to imitate Windows and Mac OS, going so far as to make newer users 
which interface they are more comfortable with with before downloading the distro. While Zorin still isn't a carbon copy, it gives you an idea of how close of an impression Linux can make. This makes Zorin worth a look for anyone who is switching to Linux out of a wish for privacy or what of necessity. But with no desire to leave behind the interface they are already familiar with. While no degree of theming will make Linux the same as Windows or Mac OS. Maybe the similarities will be enough to take the edge of learning something new. Number 5. Endless OS Perhaps even more so than elementary OS, Endless OS isn't like other Linux distro. Here is a desktop designed for use entirely offline. Endless targets communities and areas of the world where high speed internet access can't be taken for granted. This means it comes with an abundance of apps designed specially for Endless OS. Much of its users freely available, Creative Commons licensed content, but presents this information is fun and usable ways. The Encyclopedia app, for example, provides an offline copy of Wikipedia with an interface that might invite you to spend more time reading than you would on the Wikipedia website. Endless uses a heavy modified version of the GNOME desktop environment. So the interface is distinct but not built from the ground up for this particular distro. Nonetheless, many of the apps are. So you will only get to experience them if you take Endless OS out of her spin. Heads up though, as a distro intended to be useful offline, the installation file containing everything is rather huge. Number 6. Deepin Deepin is a distro that goes all-in-one style. If you like the bubbly, vibrant look of a Samsung Galaxy phone and want something akin to that on your desktop, Deepin may offer the sheen that you are after. But that doesn't mean you want to try Deepin out exclusively for its look. This distro emphasizes making software easy to obtain. And not just open source software, Deepin has no issues with providing proprietary apps. You can even download softwares that only made for Windows. These apps will come bundled with the Wine components necessary to make Windows apps run on your Linux machine, saving you the hassle of having the configure Wine for yourself. Deepin is made in China for a predominantly Chinese audience. So keep that in mind, much of the proprietary apps are those that Chinese users may have more interest in than people living elsewhere, such as WeChat. And whenever proprietary software is involved, be sure to check your privacy settings the best you can. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.